Hi, I'm Matt Fitz here at Gorilla Grills. Congratulations on your new Silverback purchase. Now let's get you seasoned and get you grilling. To begin, plug it into a 110 volt, three prong grounded outlet. To verify, you'll see a red light on the control panel. This indicates that there is voltage present. Next, open your hopper lid and load in a 20 pound bag of approved food grade wood pellets. After you got your hopper fully loaded, or partially loaded, whichever you prefer. Take your inner components out and in particular, wash the cooking grates with soap and water. Okay, so all the components are out. The cooking grates are being washed with soap and water. Now we'll go ahead and take note on the auger. You'll see that there's no fuel present inside of there. To start out, you gotta press and hold the on off button to get it to turn on and this will automatically start the priming process. All right, what you see here is on the control panel. The first temperature indicated is the ambient temperature. That's the temperature surrounding the entire unit. The reason why it's flashing right now is because we're currently below 110 degrees, which is our low shutoff point. These three dots on the lower section of the, on the control panel is indicating that it's currently, the igniter is currently running. It's been about four minutes now. Once the fuel starts dropping inside of the burn pot, turn the control board off and turn it back on to re-initiate re the startup sequence. And select 450 degrees. You want to run it here for about 45 minutes to complete the seasoning process. Silverback's on its way to 450 degrees. Let's go ahead and get the inner components reinstalled. You'll notice a lot of excessive smoke right off the bat. This is because the burn pot's a third of the way filled with fuel, fresh fuel. Once that fuel ignites, that's when the smoke's gonna start dissipating. All right, we're gonna let the grill run here for about 45 minutes at 450 degrees. Once that 45 minutes is done, the seasoning is complete. You can either shut it down or you can start grilling. To shut it down, press the on off button. You'll see a C5 countdown timer, which is five minutes. Once that five minutes is done, the grill's gonna be completely off. You wanna leave it plugged in for that entire duration. If you're curious on something to cook, you can check out our recipes online. Be sure to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.